Welcome, Cancer, to your numerology reading for May. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. Your numerology for this month. Talking about that moderation. 14, 1 plus 4. You might be seeing 5, 1, or 4. <clears throat> and if you're not sure exactly what numerology is all about, the um, everything that you need to understand about this video is under the description of the video. Okay. I did do that because I had some people who were getting a little confused. Okay. So soul star activation, fulfilling soul contracts, remembering who you are. So the soul star, um, a chakra, excuse me. Um, those of course who watch the numeral, uh, those of you, of course, who watch the chakra readings know exactly where that is. But this is located six inches above your crown chakra. So this is where your higher being, the divine, your soul is. This is where the interaction with the higher places is. So this is saying when I'm crowning, I am actually taking this bridge towards the divine, my higher self. So it's really in contact. Your higher self is really trying to contact, as you see, it's at his crown. And it's up here. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It's just above the crown chakra. So it's saying, yes, this is where I am connecting to my higher self, um, to the divine, the spirit world. And this is where I'm remembering who am I? Remember, I am a soul being having a human experience, not a human having any kind of other experience. Right? So it's kind of remembering who I am, what is going on within my life, fulfilling the soul contract, trying to stay you know, on the path that you're supposed to be staying on as much as possible. So, and through moderation, it's like I'm remembering, I'm understanding. And even a lot of times, you know, because the crown chakra is the understanding. It's remember, the third eye is I can clearly see what's going on. And then once you can clearly understand, you know, see that, you can understand it. And now it's saying, I got this. And so it's like you're getting this download from the spirit world to say, Remember who you are. Remember what you're here to do. You're not here for this. You're not here to do that. There's experiences along the way, and we're experiencing things. And you're experiencing things for your soul to grow, evolve. It's all about the evolution of the understandings. And through, so through this, you know, not only this journey, but your previous journeys before this one, you have learned much about all the inner workings within your soul and about the cycles of karma. So you're starting to understand, oh, right? And so through moderation, Spirit says, you can do this. You can do this. You can have this moderate understanding. And it'll help you move forward within this life for peace, for harmony, for better understanding. So you don't feel stuck. So allow this time. And this is a great time because, you know, that lunar eclipse comes in and, you know, since it's, um, you know, the new moon or full moon, excuse me, in Scorpio, it says it's time for regeneration, for transformation, for letting go of things, for having over awareness, bringing in reflection. And of course, just having the moon itself, right, gives you that time to reflect on all those situations so that you can bring, look at this six, a six, six <clears throat> so far. So it's having a lot of sixes bringing in that moving on for the harmony and the peace, really connecting to your higher self. This will actually, you know, this is going to help you have a better understanding with respect. And this is going to give you more respect for the journey, for yourself, for the understanding. And then of course, it's going to be allowed to stabilize you with the four over here and really ground you. Um, and then with that three, really bring you in that harmony again, that peace, that harmony, that happiness, this joy, and then having this respect for the four plus three equals seven, saying this is divinely done. I want you to participate in this. This is where I really want you to pay attention. Um, you know, because once you understand and have a better understanding of things around you, you're going to realize that a lot of the things that you're holding on to are meaningless. They're just human experiences. They're meaningless. They have nothing to do with really anything except for that's just the way human life is. And once you get into those higher pieces, 
you're not going to really allow those things to affect you as much, right? So that you can let go of those things. And you're also going to find with other things, people are on their journey too. So it could actually even help release for the healing of grudges against other people because we have to understand they're on a journey just like you. They make mistakes just like you do because you're in a learning process. So it will bring in a better understanding, especially if you're upset with someone and you're like, well, how the hell could you do something like that? Because I'm freaking human. As long as it's not maniacal, guys. I'm not talking about like evil things, right? I'm talking about people who do the same stupid thing over and over again. They need to learn that they can't do that, right? So bringing back the peace and the harmony within the relationship. Look at your relationship. If you're very connected with someone, you keep arguing about the same thing over and over again. You can look from a higher place and say, why are we arguing about this? This is so stupid. Who gives a shit? It's really meaningless. We're fighting, arguing, sleeping on the couch, not in the bed, in the doghouse for something meaningless. Because it's not going to bring in the growth. It's not going to do anything. It does nothing. So once you activate your star activation of your soul, you're going to say, okay, I can move on from this piece. This is just an example, guys. If it's not your example, you can throw that away. I'm just trying to use the, the simplest example of why things like this happen. It's because it wants you to be in more control and more charge and have a better understanding of what it is you're truly looking for in life. The experience, the happiness, the joy. Because to spirit, those are the true abundances of life. All the other things are materialistic things. Spirit has nothing to really do with materialistic things. That's a part of law and attraction and manifestation that they give because you, you keep putting it out into the universe. Okay. They don't, you know, you pray to the universe to win the lottery, but you have to understand the universe really doesn't give a shit about you winning the lottery. They want you to be happy, stable, have the shelter, have the money that's necessary. They want to give you the needs of life, not the wants of life. So once you figure out, but they will give you the wants of life, right? We've seen this, but, but they're more worried about your needs of life. So when you use moderation and you really look at the change of the harmony and the peace, see, that's why this is all up here so much harmony, peace, three, six, three, six, because that's what they really want you to be, right? Happy, healthy, joyful, enjoying life. The rest is just the rest of the human experience. And then, of course, you're bringing in with this understanding that in your past life, you're bringing in a lot of karmic things. And Spirit's going to make you understand, well, you've already done a lot of this. I want you to grow past it so we can not do some of these things again. And this is going to bring in a different kind of respect. It's from a soul level. It's not saying you're not respectful to other people. It doesn't mean that you don't have respect. It doesn't mean that you don't respect yourself. That's so wrong, right? That's not what it's, you have to see from a spiritual side because this is a spiritual message. The respect of the life value of the journey. So this will help you move on to the place that you're going to feel like this is, this is what's real. This is the reason. The rest is just, is just the experience. But what am I really learning and what is my, what is my soul really evolving? Because remember, it's here to evolve and to learn because it can't learn on the other side of what this is. It's just energy. So it's having in this human experience to learn what love is, to learn what this is, you know, and then of course it'll allow you to learn what it's like to be wealthy because then you'll be a different person, you know, but you're only here in this life once. You were never this human ever before. So this is different for this, you know, it's different for your soul because it says, oh, look, the new puppet has fucking, I've heard it being called avatar puppet, however, uh, the new body bag. <clears throat> You know, my new person, um, you know, 
has all these different qualities um, of things that I can learn. They're so different because you're never 100% the same. You just bring over a lot of other little qualities and little things um, <clears throat> from past lives. So it's saying that the, the truth will be justified. Justify your truth. It is just going to kind of like set you free in your own ways. And that's what it's looking for. Right? This way you don't have to feel like you're standing your ground through your life where it feels like it's such a challenge and I'm just challenged and everything's a frigging challenge. And oh my God, we've all been there. You know, so we kind of let it go and we say, well, this is, this is, this can't be it. And then the next thing you know, you're holding on to every little thing, every little thing. And it just eats you up. And we've all been there. You know, it starts with one little thing. And the next thing you know, the damn light bulb broke and you're just infuriated because it's just like everything is breaking, um, you know, or however it is. You see what I'm saying? Um, and the next thing you know, it's just making you miserable. So we respect the values of the journey to the experience through the truth of what's going on to make it justified and then figure out what your justice is to free you from the situations of having to feel like you're always a barricade, you're always blocked. Um, you're always, um, I don't know, maybe feeling like you're pushed and tugged in all different directions and then your emotions get all crazy, but having this experience that they're saying you can do this and seven again. So this is definitely divinely done for the reasons being, and this is 11, right? Justice, truth. The 11 is saying, well, what does it say? Right? What does the 11 say? The 11 is saying, balance, truth, balancing out the situation between the soul versus the human body, the human experiences versus what the soul really wants, right? Then you say, well, how am I going to do that? Let's see. Okay, so. The Knight of Cups, taking the offer, allowing yourself to take the offer for the moderations to actually sit down with yourself. You know what's going to end up happening, right? You're going to end up having to do some shadow work, right? Deep reflection, get into your psyche, meditate, look for the higher sources within yourself, allow your, your higher psyche and psyche to take control of the situation so you can see it from a higher view. Use that creative self that you have. Use that intuition that you have. You guys know for a fact, right? You're not watching tarot because you're, you're um, not on this realm of thinking, right? You're here because you have a greater understanding of what the high priestess means, right? Or you're learning or you're here to learn and understand what, what does this all mean? So Spirit says you already understand this, otherwise you wouldn't be here. And those who don't understand, do not watch these videos. Plain and simple, you guys. That's why they're lower videos than normal. Because most don't want to go this deep. Okay, they don't want to do this part. They just want to know their future and then get over with it, right? So... Queen of Swords. So you're on a different level. Queen of Swords, and it's definitely, that's what it just said. <laughs> Queen of Swords, what did it just say, right? You're on a different level because you're already cutting through. You already have the greater understanding. It says you already get it. You already get it, so get it more. Get in there. Kind of like get in there and get your hands muddy, right? Because you already got it. You already understand it. I said, otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this video. So you either already understand it or you want to know more or two in one. I understand it and I want to learn more. However, and there it is again, perce perception. And you can even see that is the same thing I just said as well. Wow. Talk about corresponding to each other. Um, crazy. And that's exactly what it said too, because I'm learning. I want to know what I, what I want because I'm perceiving deeply. Um, and this is, but it's also looking deep within yourself. Um, really corresponding to the situation at hand and really looking at what is really respectable to the situation, right? 
It's a deep, like I said, it's a deeper understanding of respect. It's respecting the divine. It's, an under, it's more of a respect for your higher self. I guess that's the best way to say that, right? Because it's not the kind of respect that people's like, well, I do have respect. No, that's not what I'm looking at. This is a different kind of respect. This is the one that realizes that your soul needs praise, right? We're looking at this from a spirit, that, you know, from a spiritual point of view, you know? This is the belief in and to be respectful to yourself and to the divine because it's sitting underneath the spirit soul uh star chakra that's how we know what it is right and this is going to bring in the truth and the justification as you're looking through the high priestess and saying oh i flip and get it i get this i understand and even though I might not understand everything, because we're not supposed to anyways, there's a lot of things we're not supposed to understand until, we, you know, we're, we're dead. We can try our hardest, but we don't get everything. A lot of hidden truths we're not supposed to know, but that's not the point. The point is, I want you to see the truth that I want you to understand. And it's sitting between two sevens. Spirit, it says, I want you to see the truth that I have ready for you. And it's willing to be open to you. Take the time to really look. Now look, looking at this could be a little depressing. Oh, yeah. yeah I told you, it was like shadow work, right? Well, guys, we all know shadow work is like we look at the goods, we look at the bads, and we're like, oh, shit, some of it looks really ugly. That's definitely taking the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, so it definitely could be depression, or it could be looking at the proof. At the situation, we'll take it from both point of views for you guys. It could be looking at the depression that you already have to spike it up and say, why do I feel this way? Because remember, we're still looking at the harmony and still underneath the harmony. Moving past the five of cups to find the harmony. And it could also be doing the shadow work, you know, and looking at the truth could be like, oh, God. And the depression would really come from maybe um, a point... I think, you know, I'm going to say it the way that I felt it when I first learned it. Man, I really messed this up. <laughs> but spirit doesn't see you as messing that up. That, that, that's your human mind. Once you come to the understanding of what's really going on, it's your human mind saying, man, I messed this whole journey up. I really effed this up. But it's not, though, because you're veiled from that situation so that you can awaken to find the truth. And it takes years sometimes to figure this out. It's not like some of you just going to wake up out of bed and be like, aha, I know it. No, it takes, you know, and it is a little depressing because it does kind of give you that downer moment. Like, man, I, I kind of really f***ed this up because, you know, I made it harder than it is. Or because we have human emotions, it makes it rougher. And I need to really watch those human emotions, you know. And there's a lot of things you're never going to catch. You'll never, you know, you can't be perfect. But sometimes it is kind of a downer. Because I know it was for me. Because I felt like such a loser. <laughs> you know? No, I'm not even kidding. You know, I laugh now, but I'm telling you. I could laugh now because I was crying then, right? Um, literally. Because it's kind of like, wow, I made that so hard. But it's not to say that life is easy because life is not easy. And that's the next point of the situation. You can find the cues of the understanding and then say, well, it could have been so much easier, but it doesn't matter because life's still going to throw you shit, right? That you're going to have to get through. So no matter what, it's just the feelings of once you get that, you're like, oh my God. But then you go on to work the next day and there goes life again. So, you know, it's, it's okay though. Because it's still a part of the experience. And that's what they're saying. Patiently plan and have a better understanding of what you can do to try to keep this understanding. Mold the understanding. So that when things do come through, you'll have a better understanding of how to withdraw from the situations. You'll understand the divine essence within yourself. And you'll have a higher way of looking at things um, that aren't so always so nasty you know, from the world or from yourself or however, because we can all be nasty in our own ways. And maybe we can try to take a little more control about the situation, but we're definitely not going to allow those certain situations to come through to, um, you know, overwhelm us. 
So now you can say, I'm kind of kind of transforming into a better version of understanding, which should keep me, and it will keep you, lighter and more harmony, you know, and more harmony. But like I said, don't worry, you're still going to have stuff out there, even after you learn this, that's going to piss you off. It's still going to upset you because you still have human emotions, and that's okay. That's okay. You just need to, you know, take it to a limit to where you say, okay, you know what, I can go back and do this thing again and say, okay, you know what, we've taken it too far. That's, that's enough. We've done. You know, it's it. And then let it go. That way you're not holding on to it forever and ever and ever, right? Because then you're going to make better choices, better decisions about how to literally see this from a higher perspective once you get yourself calmed down. Once you get yourself to the understanding, but you're going to have to get yourself back to the understanding of what's going on. Because remember, once you learn this, you'll take it with you for a while and then it'll be veiled again. It's like you'll go to sleep in a week and then you'll wake up and you might not remember everything that you just learned. So it's a process of growth and understanding until you 100% learn it. And I don't know if, you know, unless you're a guru... It's going to take years to, you know, to actually really get it down. Because we fall and then you just pick yourself back up. I mean, that's the point. Right? Because it's going to bring in better blessings for you. But you're going to see if the blessings come from a different point of view. Because you're going to see it from a different perspective. So you're actually going to see more small blessings come in. Where you probably didn't see them as blessings at all. So the gratefulness that you're going to have is going to be very different. If it's rained for 12 days straight... And the sun comes out, you're going to be like, thank God that sun's out. And I'm sick and tired of this rain. It's going to be different, though, because you're going to see it from a lighter point of view. And you'll be like, I am so grateful that the sun is out. What a blessing. See what I'm saying? So it's going to be, and it doesn't have to be exactly like this. Just examples, remember. You can throw them away. It's just seeing the smaller rewards. Right? It's seeing the smaller things without it always being, I don't see anything. Because a lot of people, guys, don't see anything unless it's something, boom, something major happening. So I have so many people that said, I didn't get any rewards during this lunar eclipse. I got nothing. Not a damn thing. Well, you have your job. That's a blessing. So you're going to see these little things. You know? So you're going to see blessings in so many different ways. So it's just going to be the smallest little things that you're going to start perceiving because you're kind of waking up and activate. You're, you're activated. You're activated in a different light. And that's really what it's bringing in. And that's what it wants you to pay attention to. So that's what the one and the four is. That's where the moderation is. I want you to moderately do this. It doesn't have to. I don't want you to do it in a fast process either because fast doesn't do anything. Moderately take the steps to see what's going on around you so you can perceive things from a different kind of reality in its way. What's really going on? You know, then you wake up in the morning and be like, today I'm glad that I'm alive. Instead of waking up and saying, I wish I were dead. <laughs> you know, that's not going to, you know, you wish it all you want, but it ain't going to happen because you have other things to do, right? But that's not a very good way to wake up in the morning, right? Is to wake up and say horrible things because that's not going to make your day go by good. It's going to make a shitty day. Appreci oh my gosh, look at this. Appreciation and love are identical vibrations. Okay, there you go. Because we're talking about uh, being grateful, being appreciative for the small things. Um, and then, of course, the love, because we were talking about maybe this fight's not really worth it. We're fighting over something stupid, like, you know, what we wanted for dinner last night, and we still are fighting about Taco Bell. Because you wanted Taco Bell, and I wanted Del Taco. Who cares? They're two different restaurants, but we're going to fight about it because I don't like their burritos. And then you bring it over to the next day, and somebody ain't going to let go. You'd be surprised how many people do those things. You know these people. <laughs> Appreciation and love are identical vibrations. Appreciation is the vibration of alignment with who you are. Appreciation is the absence of everything that feels bad and the presence of everything that feels good. When you focus upon what you want, when you tell the story of how you want your life to be, you will become closer and closer to the vicinity of appreciation. And when you reach it, 
it will pull you towards all things that you consider to be good in a very powerful way. See? And this is where you start reaping your rewards. Because now it's saying, oh, you're super appreciative because you woke up this morning and said, it's a good thing to be alive. We're just using that as an example. Today is going to be a good day. I've said this before in another video. I don't know if I did it for you guys, but the number one that hits me the most, and I'm going to, I'm going to tell you right now, the one that hits me the most is, oh God, it's Monday. I hate Mondays. Mondays are horrible. And you feel shitty every Monday because it's entombed into your life that Mondays suck. And everybody on this planet says it. Now I'm going to tell you right now, there was a time that I never said that. And it's also a learned behavior in some ways, I think. Because I think we hear it from everybody around us. Because there was a time in my life I used to get up and go to school during Monday. And I love going back to school because I love my friends. Now, by the time I got into high school, I kept hearing everybody bickering, eh, hey, Monday, because we partied on the weekends or whatever, right? We had such a good time. Now we have to go back to school. And for me, it was always crazy because it was like, man, I can't wait to see so-and-so on Monday. I told him what we did on Saturday. You know what I mean? You know, tell those wild stories. But everybody else was like, you know, down and out. So by the time I got to work, I used to always love going to work on Monday because I used to love to come back and tell them all the stories I did on the weekend. As I got older, there was a time in my life, all of a sudden, I hated Mondays too. Now I come back to the conclusion, why did I hate Mondays? Because it was funny, because once I lost my job, I couldn't wait to get back to go to work. And, I, you know, I remember filling out that thing, I'll work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and you, you don't, don't care when you don't have a job. But it's so funny, six months after you have that job, can't stand Monday, and I wish I wasn't here. So funny, because when you didn't have a job, you couldn't wait. You would you filled out that paperwork for seven days a week. Now, all of a sudden, you don't want to be there at all. Monday suck. Hump day sucks. But it's this, this um, energy that you put within yourself. So if you actually wake up and say, I can't wait to go to work today on a Monday, you will find that Monday goes by faster. Because everybody says Monday goes by really super slow. Now, see, I think this is true because my husband never does that on Monday. My husband gets up on Monday and he's like, woo, go to work. And he has for the last 20 years. And his days go super fast. And everybody else is moping around. It's what the energy is that you give to your day. So try that and see if your days actually go better on Monday. Mondays are always a little more hectic no matter what. But see if you have a better day. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.